Hi friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to do smarter sharpening with a bandpass mask. This is the third and final live mask and is one of the flagship features of Affinity Photo 2.0. This follows the luminosity and hue range live masks, which I've demoed and explained previously in other videos. If you are interested in those live masks, I leave a link in the description. So to demonstrate the sharpening process, we're going to be using this relatively soft photo, which could use a bit of sharpening. But before we sharpen with a bandpass mask, let's first discuss what is the problem of using the standard sharpening. So to do the standard sharpening, the easiest way is just to go to the developer persona. Just click on detail refinement and then we can just uh, choose a radius here and an amount all right so you can see the problem with unsharp mask if you want to really sharpen the image the main issue is it actually does produce sharpening halos if you're not careful so if you want to do some real sharpening it will produce the halos here and that's represented by this white line around the edges there's also a black line as well. Aside from that, the unsharp mask will also produce um, the sharpening artifacts here. So as an alternative to the unsharp mask, we're going to be using the bandpass mask to avoid all of these unsightly artifacts. So I'm just going to remove the effect here. But what is the live bandpass mask? The bandpass mask allows you to get a mask out of the edges in the image. It's really used for fine-tuning image edges. The bandpass mask has three controls. The first one is low band, which sets the lower limit of the frequency band. The edges are represented by the higher frequencies. The high band sets the higher limit of the frequency band, and this usually contains all the edges. There also is an intensity map graph. The graph can be manipulated to precisely target the shadows, midtones, and highlights affected by the bandpass mask. So the left of the graph represents shadows, the middle midtones, and the right highlights. All right, so now that we know what a bandpass mask is, let's go ahead and add it in to this image. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just to duplicate the background. So I'm just going to right click and duplicate and I'm going to add the mask here on the top layer. Since I may use more than one mask, I'm going to use a compound mask first before I put the band pass mask. Let's add the compound mask like so. So the compound mask is added. Then now let's add the band pass mask. Right, so this is the bandpass mask. Now, as you can see, it was added at the top. What I want is the bandpass mask to be inside the compound mask. So I'm just gonna drag it over there, like so. For this bandpass mask, I can show the mask by clicking on or checking preview. So right now, you don't see much of the edges. You see, there's it's very faint. Let's just make the edges more prominent. Let's widen the range of the limits. So let's lower low band here. And then high band, let's increase that a little bit more. And then let's increase the intensity map here, this curve, so that the edges will really show. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now the edges are very, very prominent. Let's just close this. The compound mask will take as a result this mask. What we're going to do here is just multiply this mask with the background mask to get that sharper image. So what it will do here is it actually will multiply the edges with this background image here. So it's easier to explain by actually doing it. So I'm just going to choose multiply. And there you can see that it enhanced this, it sharpened the image. So this is the normal and this is the multiplied image. The details are now much sharper and you don't see the white halos. However, you do see 
there's this black halo here which we do not want so it has a different look from the unsharp mask it doesn't have the artifacts but it is not perfect the good news there is the compound mask can actually be edited so just right click the thumbnail then click edit mask this very bright white edge uh, is just a bit too much the good news there is I can actually just paint over this choose the paint tool and then I'm gonna choose a black color here and then I'm just going to paint over this ugly oversized edge okay I think we can do that for the water as well it's actually no need to make the water really sharp okay I think that is fine and if we look at the resulting image you see that the halo is actually gone the edges are shown at the right parts of the statue now as a final touch there's nothing preventing us from just a little bit of unsharp mask here to make the details pop a little bit more so to do that I'm just going to merge this set of layers so I'm just gonna right click on any layer and just choose merge visible and that will create a new image here and we can go into develop persona just choose detail refinement and I'm going to choose a small radius here so you can see that it is sharpened even further but it doesn't have now the ugly artifacts from the operation with just the unsharp mask so it's a more refined look and then we're just going to go back to develop to do a final comparison so this is the before and the after before and the after so as you can see a great result and in affinity photo it's nice to have so many options for sharpening i hope you learn something using the bandpass mask so do let me know in the comments if you're using the bandpass mask yourself or if you know any other sharpening methodologies in affinity photo which could be alternatives to this process i just showed you well i hope you found this video helpful and if you did i'd really appreciate if you like subscribe and share this content to help keep the videos coming and till the next video i'm going to see you in the next one bye for now